Hey, what's up guys? Quinn here. Today we have a really exciting video showcasing the new updates to the Waterbox 20 Cube behind me here. So it's cycled now for four weeks, so I have added the Refugium, and it's finally time to add some fish. But before we get into that, let's hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. All right, so the last thing I need to set up is the Refugium. I did finally just get my Algae Barn shipment. It is the Refugium starter pack. I will be using the Nano Glow Refugium Light. So I did initially put the activated carbon and coarse sponge in the middle compartment until I got the Refugium. So I'm gonna have to take that out and then that will be what will hold the Refugium. Two hours later. All right guys, so as I said, I did add the Refugium finally to the back middle compartment here. So you can see I have the Nano Glow Light just sitting here on the back. That provides the Chato with the light source. It is a really bright light. I wouldn't look right into it. So if you look underneath, you can see the Chato there. It's sitting next to a bag of bio balls. I did put the Marine Pure Block underneath, just making sure that both of those are seated. I will be removing the bio balls eventually. Just wanted to make sure all the bio media is seated before I put the fish in. So what's pretty cool about the water box is whenever you put the light back on there, you can actually look through the Chato just sitting there. So it is not an opaque piece of glass here. It's actually a dark piece of glass that with the light source you can actually see through it. So it is kind of a cooler function of the water box cubes. How neat is that? So my local fish store had an outstanding selection of clownfish, from basic Ocellaris clowns to more exotic varieties. I had an idea of what I was looking for, but seeing the variety made it a very difficult decision to make. It's crazy how many different types of clownfish there are. Oh, I like that. Yeah, me too. Check out these Black Storm Oscillaris that are being sold for $300. Maybe someday in a future tank. just uh, pure salt water that the local fish store gave me to help acclimate the fish. I'll put that in the bucket first. First guy. So like he's still alive. Survived the long car ride to Chicago.
So he's happy to be out of the bag. Number two. This guy's a little scared, it looks like. All right, step one is over. We're gonna let them sit in this water for about five, 10 minutes. Then we're slowly gonna start drip acclimating them with the water in the water box 20 itself. Final judge. Make sure you stay tuned for some future videos where I add some corals as well as some invertebrates into my tank. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.